I, uh, I'm from Washington, uh, D.C. I grew up in that area, and uh, I grew up following the, the, the Washington football team, um, who obviously became later the, what was the Redskins, and became the Washington football team, and the, the Commanders, and uh, that whole name changed things interesting to me, because um, I don't know if you guys saw, there was a study of uh, actual Native Americans, and 92% of the Native Americans did not mind having their likeness used as a mascot for a professional football team. Um, they did mind, however, having their likeness used as a mascot for a horrible football team. <laughs> and I see their point. I mean, kind of adds insult to injury, right? First, you take their land, then week after week, they get beaten by the Patriots? And the Cowboys? That has to be, that has to, that has to be. I heard when the uh, Jaguars learned that the uh, Redskins were giving up the red name, they were uh, petitioned to change their name to the uh, Jacksonville Rednecks, is that right? <laughs> Rednecks are funny. I have a, a friend named Chris, he's kind of redneck, and uh, I'll give you a couple of examples. One, he, well, he, he told me the other day that he was going glamping, not camping, he said he was going glamping. I'm like, you live in a single wide trailer in the woods. If you're going glamping, you should just stay there. <laughs> and uh, he's smart though, he knows things. Like he goes deer hunting, I'm not a, not a hunter, he's a hunter. He goes deer hunting, he tells me, uh, you know, um, that about one out of every four times, maybe, maybe some of you deer hunters know this, uh, deers uh, produce twins. Twins are apparently very common with deer. And I, I don't know, I said, uh, you know, are, are they identical? And he said, I don't know what they look alike. Probably the right answer, I guess. But uh, Jaguars fans in the house, clap it up if you're a Jaguars fan. Yeah, there's all these uh, controversies as you start the season. Always, I mean, a couple teams have uh, have quarterback controversies. I was taking a look in the Denver. There's a question of whether they're going to start. I guess his name is Nix or Steinhorn. Uh, the Raiders, of course, uh, are looking at O'Donnell or, or our own um, Minshew. And uh, of course, the controversy in Jacksonville is, is Trevor Lawrence handsome or beautiful? <laughs> I think he's kind of both, don't you? He's both. Jacksonville has a slogan. Do you guys know this? Uh, uh, Jacksonville years ago paid millions of dollars to have a slogan put together. Not the Jaguars, the whole city. Um, and I bet you, you guys don't know the slogan. I'm going to tell you the slogan. But first I'm going to tell you the ones that they ruled out. They ruled out uh, Jacksonville, uh, we have more Waffle Houses and Confederate flags than your city. <laughs> it came close, but Mobile, Alabama actually had one more Waffle House. <laughs> and uh, they also thought of Jacksonville, our bridges are color-coded because we don't read so well. <laughs> Which I think that one, that was my favorite, to be honest. <laughs> but they actually, this is the real slogan, and, and it, it you don't even know it. We've paid a million dollars for it. Jacksonville, it's easier here. That's it. That's it. And, and the slogan kind of makes its own point. How hard was it to come up with that slogan? <laughs> so. A lot of creativity coming out of Hollywood. Um, they've got a new Cinderella. I don't know if you guys saw this. Um, you remember the original Cinderella. Um, Cinderella dates this guy who's got a foot fetish. Yeah, so she dances with him at the ball, and he, uh, you know, later he matches his, her foot to a shoe, and yada, yada, yada. But the new one, um, um, the Cinderella, you'll be happy to know, is a more substantial character. She, uh, she dances with the prince at the ball, and she describes these portraits that she's created, because she's a portrait artist. Um, so when the prince goes looking for her, he looks for the portraits. When he finds the portraits, he knows he's found Cinderella. Um, it's got me thinking of my own version of Cinderella. It's a little simpler plot. See if you can follow me. In my version, the prince remembers what Cinderella looks like. <laughs> well, I don't want to blow it for you, but I think it's going to be good. <laughs> Subtitle is, men are stupid, I think is what I'm going to call it. <laughs> and it's got to be tough to be a woman. Like, uh, I read this study that there's more guys named James who are CEOs of Fortune 500 companies than there are women who are CEOs of Fortune 500 companies. Isn't that crazy? It's, it's why I've named my daughters James, Jim, Jimmy, and Jim Jim. <laughs> I want to give Jim Jim twice the chance. 